Gordon Peabody says he can rebuild Doom. So what exactly is his plan? This is it. Exactly what it is when Chronicle returns. We have uh, sea level rising. We have the shoreline uh, receding. So people have to understand that's a process that, you know, we're not capable of stopping. I'm quite pleased that this has filled in as much as it has here. But there is one man trying to buck the tide. Coastal habitat restoration is like baking bread. You need to know the ingredients, put them together, put it in the oven and get out of the way. Except that our oven is the North Atlantic coast of Cape Cod. Gordon Peabody thinks he's discovered the secret to rebuilding dunes. We stumbled on it by not giving up when we went through five failures. Peabody uses cedar shims to imitate seagrass, periodically pulling them up as sand collects. No one had seen something this simple, and people have a need for a very technical engineering uh, weighted uh, uh, processes, but we're kind of going in the other direction. With support from the town of Truro, Peabody and his team of volunteers repaired a breach in this dune at Boston Beach. In a little over two years, it has gained over 24 feet. Today, they're putting the icing on the cake, planting seagrass. It doesn't need us anymore. We've gotten 24 to 26 vertical feet. We have the dunes performing so much it's getting a couple feet of sand from every storm. A solution so simple it can sometimes be a hard sell. I can see you struggling with the same thing. It's like, what is this it? You guys came here, oh, where's the rest of it? You know, this is it. This is it. Gordon Peabody says his method is not just simple, it's cheap. About $500 to build a mile of dune. However, you do need a lot of volunteers to go out there and periodically move those slats to restore the dune.